In a previous video, I showed you guys how to rewrite this multiplication of factorials as one single factorial. But you guys got me and you figured that 3 factorial is 6. And when you multiply it by 5 factorial, you get 6 factorial. However, that quick trick, will it work on this example? Right, now 6 factorial is 720 and 7 factorial is 5040. So that trick with the 3 factorial doesn't work here. So what we're going to do is the method I used to break down one of the factorials. I'm going to do the larger one. Remember, factorial means take the number and multiply it by the integers that precede it down to 1. 7 factorial will be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. For this sake, I'm going to ignore the 1. Then I'm going to break down each number into their prime factors. 6 is 2, 3. We have 5. 4 is 2, 2, 3 times 2. Now, 6 factorial is 6 multiplied by all the integers down to 1. So, I'm going to look for 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. to combine with the 6 factorial. Now, I already see 7. I need to find 8. 2, 2, 2 gives me 8. I now need to find 9. 3 times 3 gives me 9. And finally, I can see 10. So I can rewrite 7 factorial as 7 times 8 times 9 times 10. And we know 6 factorial, like I said, is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So when I multiply all these together, I get 10 factorial. So x is 10. Nice. Follow me for more content like this. Nice.